I had my first parachute descent the other day, during a battle off the south coast. I'd had the pleasure of sending two Messerschmitts into the sea, and then two others attacked me. I twisted and turned, but they were too accurate. I could hear the deafening thud of their bullets. Pieces of my aircraft seemed to be flying off in all directions. My engine was damaged, and I couldn't climb back to the cloud where I might have lost them. Then came a cold, stinging pain in my left foot. One of their bullets had found its mark, but it didn't hurt. I was about to dive to the sea and make my escape low down when the control column became useless in my hand. Black smoke poured into the cockpit and I couldn't see. And I knew that the time had come for me to depart. Everything after this was perfectly calm. I was at about 10,000 feet, but some miles out to sea. I lifted my seat and undid my straps and opened the hood. The wind became my ally and a hand, actually the slipstream catching under my helmet, seemed to lift me out of the cockpit. It was a pleasant sensation. I was in mid-air, floating down so peacefully in the cool breeze. I had to remind myself to pull my ripcord and open my parachute. When the first jerk was over, I swung like a pendulum. This was not so pleasant, but I soon settled down and I was able to enjoy a full view of the world below, the beach some miles away with soldiers and the long lines of villas in a coastal town. There was no sensation of speed, but the ripples on the water became bigger and the soldiers became nearer. I had one minute of anxiety as I floated down. One of the Messerschmitts appeared. The pilot circled round me, and I was just a little alarmed. Would he shoot? Well, he didn't. He behaved quite well. He opened his hood, waved to me, and then dived towards the sea and made off towards France. The wind was still friendly, and it was carrying me in towards the beach. So I took out my cigarettes and lit one with my lighter without any difficulty. Ages seemed to pass. I threw away the cigarette as I came nearer and nearer to the coast. I could hear the all-clear sirens, and passing over the houses on the seafront, I could see the people coming out of their shelters. People looking up at me. I descended to about a thousand feet. I began to sway a little and I could hear my parachute flapping like the sound of a sail in a small boat. The soldiers' faces were quite clear, but I must have looked English, even at a thousand feet, which was comforting. For the first time since the enemy pilots circled around me, I became anxious. Was I to end my escapade by being banged against a seaside villa? It didn't seem possible that I could reach the fields beyond. Well, the journey ended in a cucumber frame, after I'd pushed myself free of a house with my foot. It was the first time I'd ever bailed out, and really one of the most enjoyable experiences of my life.